and now that he has been raised from the dead, seated at the right hand of the Father, it's amazing because he, is in, he has all authority, as we know from Matthew 28, all authority in heaven and earth has been given to him, and now we are in him, and because of that, as sons in the Son, we are able to exercise his all authority. Now, I want you to get this. You don't have this little amount of authority and God's going to give this other person this much authority. God gave Jesus all authority and we are in him. It's no longer we that live, but Christ who lives in us. So we're in him. So see, whenever you go out to minister to the sick or whatever you're doing, it says to do all in the name of Jesus. And what that means literally is, it doesn't mean saying in the name of Jesus, which we do. But when he says do all in the name of Jesus, it means do it in his stead. Do it under his authority. So when you go out and you lay hands on the sick, it's not a matter of God looking at you and deciding whether to honor your faith or you know, whatever authority you think you have. He's honoring the name of Jesus. He's honoring the faith of Jesus, you might say. But he's honoring that name. That's the key. He is honoring that name. And that name is above every other name, and every knee shall bow, as we know. And so, but it's because you are in him. See, it's not your authority, it's his authority. If it was your authority when you went to lay hands on the sick, you would say, in your name, you would use your name. But you're not doing that, you're using his, and he has all authority. So there should never be a time when there is an unanswered prayer, never a time when you have a failure of getting someone healed, never a time whenever you t command a demon spirit to come out of a person and nothing happens. That should never happen. It should always be that when you speak in Jesus' stead, in his place, and in his name, that automatically that thing happens. And it, should, it shouldn't be a long, drawn-out thing. That name is too powerful for this thing to be long and drawn out. The, and that, what that shows us many times when we minister is that if there is a battle, it's because the battle is not in getting the demon to recognize the power of the name. What you have to get the demon to recognize is your faith in the name. That your faith in that name is what causes that demon to answer. And your faith in the name means your faith in the authority that that name represents.